Hello, my name is Jean-Marc Duquy and I am the VM Connector developer. VM Connector is a set of web services for Virtumart and this is the VMC client. The VMC client now integrates a new uh, tab which is going to be able to manage, in fact, product prices by quantities. In the past, a uh, VMC client was able to manage product prices by shopper groups, but only one price by shopper group. So now we're going to show you how to manage many different prices. Here we're going to use the demo website and you can use the demo ID and the demo password in order to uh, repeat this demo uh, uh, from your PC. Now you can go on the catalog categories tab and get all catalog categories tab or based on criteria, you can also select some of the categories. Here we're going to choose, for example, the power tools and uh, use the control and the shift key in order to uh, download just related products for these categories. So now we're going to focus on the first product, which is the product ID number nine. Uh, this is the drill and uh, the SKU is P03. You can check on the right that there is already some default prices for the uh, default uh, shopper group. If we check on the web, the same website, we see that, for example, for uh, the product related drill, we have only one uh, price, which is the default one. And the price is 47 USD. Okay, now that we have the, the products in the list in the catalog uh, product uh, tab, we're going to go to the product price and click get product prices. Here we get all the product prices for the products that were pre-selected. So now we want to export this product to a spreadsheet. So we export it and if we open this spreadsheet, we're going to see that we have all the prices for these products. So as, as I said, we're going to focus on the first one, which is product price ID or product ID number one. Here, we're going to remove these lines and we're going to add three more lines. Here we're working with prices, so we cannot update prices which does not exist. So we're going to create new prices. We use the command product price add. Here, as we're going to add the prices, there is no product price ID yet. And uh, the product ID is the, the product number nine. So now we want to change also the default shopper group for these two last prices. And the shopper, shopper group name is going to change as it is uh, by default the one related to number six. So here you don't need any input. And here we're going to modify the prices. So for the first one, the first one is update. We're going to change the price to CD effect. We put 46 and we're going to put a quantity from zero to nine. That's okay. And from 10 to 19. Now for the other shopper group, we need also a price from zero to nine and we want a price from 10 to 19. Okay, now for the first one, uh, of course, if we buy more, we want to have a special price. So we're going to say it's 45. And for the second group, we're going to say that the price is even better. It's like 42. And if you have more than 10 products or 10 products or more, you're going to be able to buy it at 41. 
Okay. So to summarize, we're going to update an existing price, which is uh, for the product number nine. And we're going to add a product price for this product ID, but based on quantities and for this shopper group. And we're going to add two more prices for a shopper group number six, which in fact is we're going to check what is the name of the shopper group. Number six is gold level. Okay, so let's go back to the, and just, this is just a remark because it's going to be attributed automatically. Gold level, gold level. Okay, so now we save the spreadsheet and we can close it and import this new sheet that we just opened. It's not the right tab, so we need to go to product price, import, product price. Okay, so now we see that we have all the orders, update, add, add, add. This is very important to know that you can do as many as you want uh, and send it all together. Of course, there must be some logic in how you build up your prices. And here we see that there is the different prices and also the different quantities. If you click the upload product price button and confirm, it's going to do the updates. Now let's go back to our online website and refresh this page in order to see the different prices coming in. So you see that the goal level, the default prices are all there depending on quantities and you have been managing your prices as wanted. So as you can see, this is very handy and you can manage, of course, more than four prices at once. Do all the selections of categories, work with products related to these categories, and then work with prices related to these products. So I hope this is a useful tutorial for you and uh, we look forward to be uh, your provider in terms of uh, web services for Virtumart. Thank you very much.